country music singer Trace Adkins recently set out on a nine-day USO tour to the Middle East, where he performed for troops deployed overseas. The official wrap-up of the tour landed Adkins in Fort Benning for a welcome home concert. You go over there hoping to raise their spirits and make them feel better and give them a little taste of home and entertain them if you can. But you come home feeling like they did more for you than you did for them. You feel so proud and your heart is full and your faith in what is this country is renewed and you wonder if you did anything to make them feel as good as they made you feel. The USO tours can provide deployed soldiers a distraction from the day-to-day -day stressors that come with being overseas. For families back home, the tours let them know that people appreciate the things they do. USO tours are a win-win for Army families, no matter where they are. It helps them keep their minds away from being homesick, helps keep their minds away from worrying about what's outside the wire. Plus, it helps remind them that the United States hasn't forgot about them, the Americans haven't forgot about them, and it helps build them around. It gives soldiers uh, and families a good time to get together and to see someone face-to-face -face that's famous and know that they're here for our soldiers and our families to appreciate the things that we do. I think that's a wonderful, wonderful thing to do. Soldiers and families aren't the only ones who benefit from these tours. Performers like Trace Adkins can walk away knowing they helped ease the stress that our troops deal with every day. One of the selfish reasons why I do these things is because someday I want to be able to look at my grandkids when they come home from school and they're learning about this period in history. I'll be able to say, you know, I didn't have a hand in shaping history, but I did shake the hands of the people that shaped. Melissa Anderson, Fort Benning TV.